Good morning, students. I welcome you in the class of science. So we are reading chapter number eight, birds. We have completed a whole chapter. Now today we will do the book work of this chapter. So open your books at page number eighty four. Let's start the book work. Page number eighty four. First question is fill in the blanks with the correct words. Let's start. Phillips. First star of Phillips. First fill up is a bird uses its dash to catch and eat food. Answer is beak because a bird it uses its beak to catch and eat food, not the wings. First is beak. Birds like dash suck nectar from flowers. We know that on hummingbird and sunbird, they suck nectar. They suck juice from the flowers. Answer is a sunbird. Third, birds usually have dash feet with dash toes on each. We know that they usually have two feet and how many toes? As we have five toes, birds they have four toes on their feet. Answer is first is two feet and second one is four toes on each. Next, water birds have dash that help them push water while swimming. Do they have sharp claws or do they have webbed feet? They have webbed feet that help them to push water and swim in water. While pushing water, then they swim in water. Answer is webbed feet. They have webbed feet that help them to push water and swim in water. Webbed feet means they toes they are attached with the skin. I told you how the toes are attached with the skin. Wings are joined to the bird's body with the help of dash. Are they joined with the webbed feet or are they joined with the muscles? Wings they are joined to the body of the birds with the help of strong muscles. Fifth is muscles. First answer is beak. Second sunbird. Third, two feet and four toes on each. Fourth is webbed feet, and fifth is muscles. These were your fill in the blanks. Next, come to true false. Next are our true false. A bird uses its toes to catch and hold food. Is it true or false? It is false because a bird uses its beak to catch and eat food, not the uh, uh, toes. First is false. F. Next. A bird uses its wings for building its nest. It is also false. Why a bird uses its beak, not the wings, to build a nest? Because most of the birds, they use their sharp beaks to sew the leaves and twigs together to make their nest. It is also false. Next, all birds have the same kind of beaks. It is also false. Why? Because beaks, they differ from birds to bird. They are different in different birds, not of same uh, size or shape. Some birds, they have sharp beaks, 
some have flat beaks some have hooked beaks so they differ from bird to bird it is also false next birds fly with just a down stroke of their wings it is also false why because birds they do not fly only with the down stroke they have, they use up stroke also up stroke means when the wings they go upward that is up stroke and when the wing they go downwards that is called down stroke so for flying birds they use both up stroke also down stroke also they move their wings in the upward direction also in the downward direction also it is also false next birds have three types of feathers that is correct they have body feathers down feathers and flight feathers that is true fifth one is true first is false second false third false fourth false and fifth is true now next comes the choose the correct options we have to choose one correct option from the given of four options first is which part of the body helps a bird to catch and eat food we know that a bird uses its beak to catch and eat food not the wings not toes so answer is beak next which of these feathers help to keep a bird warm which feathers the down feathers down feathers they help the birds to keep warm next why do some birds have a sharp and hooked beak to tear flesh to pull out insects from holes to crack open nuts and fruits to suck nectar from flowers so answer is to tear flesh flesh eating birds they have to tear flesh which of these birds uses its beak like a needle to sew leaves together to build a nest we know that which bird the tailor bird the tailor bird that is why its name is tailor because it sews leaves with the help of its beak that acts like a needle so answer is tailor bird fifth which of these is true about a goose broad and flat beak webbed feet holes in beak all of these answer is broad and flat beak a goose the bird goose has broad and flat beak first answer is beak second down feathers third to tear flesh fourth tailor bird and fifth is broad and flat beak now come to the sixth question which of these birds collect stones and pebbles to make their nest on the ground we have read that penguins they collect stones and pebbles to make their nest on the ground penguins 
because in polar regions no twigs are found over there so they collect stones and pebbles seventh is which bird uses its beak to look for food inside tree holes that is the hoopo bird hoopo it finds its its food in the tree trunks which of these birds cannot walk through water stork pigeon crane heron we know that stork crane and heron they all they these three they walk through water but pigeon it flies it cannot walk through water answer is pigeon sixth is penguins seventh is hoopo and eighth is pigeon so these were the choose the correct options now next comes the very short answer type questions <clears throat> 